Apex Igbo Social Cultural Organization, Ohaneze Ndigo, has asked President Muhammad Buhari to retract his threat against secessionist agitators in the Southeast. Buhari had, in a tweet, vowed to come down on those against his government, just like the civil war. The tweet has received wild condemnation, with Twitter deleting it as being against its rule. The Ohanese leadership has now asked Buhari to withdraw the tweet and apologize to the people of the Southeast. In a statement by Ohanese, Secretary General Mazi Okichuku Isiguzoro, he said, Buhari should quickly resign the threat of repeating the episode of the civil war experience, which killed 3 million Igbo people and wrecked havoc on Igbo properties. Mr. President should also tender an unreserved apology to Ndibu for the civil war carnage against the Southeast. He said, the insecurity in the Southeast may not be far from bandits from the North, stressing that before now, there was clear warning, even by the U.S. Embassy, that killer headsmen and northern bandits were heading south to destabilize the region. What is happening now is not far from it. So the tag should not be on Igbo youths. The Ohanese scribe added that they were suddenly behind the Southeast governors in the moment of tribulation and difficulty towards the restoration of peace and stability in the region. President Buhari should regularly be scheduled to meet with Igbo governors and leaders, including youths and agitators. This exhibition of love is what Nigerians expect from Buhari and not the civil war threats. The federal government honored the Yoruba nation through MKO Abiola by the declaration of June 12 as Democracy Day to heal the psyche and wounds of the past. Southeast should also be honored through presidential pardon and amnesty for all Biafra agitators. Never again should Ndigo be threatened with genocide of 30 months of Biafra war, he stated. All right, guys, what are your thoughts concerning this particular news story as it were? It is sad and unfortunate that the president of a nation can threaten his own people with um, genocide. That is the height of insensitivity by this president of Nigeria, who does not understand what leadership is all about and who to a very large extent lacks the ability to uh, lead a people, not to talk of leading a country. This is a man who cannot even coordinate his own family from what we are seeing. I stand to be corrected if I am wrong, but that is what is actually um, playing out from, the, from what we are seeing, and that is what we can deduce. But be that as it were, I stand to be corrected. How can the president of a nation actually threaten a people with genocide? On what grounds? How can a president threaten his own citizens, whom he swore to protect, whom he swore to serve, whom he swore to govern and lead with genocide? How can he threaten them? It tells you that the man has gone berserk. He does not know what he is doing. He does not have the wherewithal to govern the country. He, doesn't, he has lost ideas. He is not actually in touch with reality. Little wonder he has pushed so much uh, military uh, uh, actions and activities to the southeastern part of the country. Little wonder he is deploying, you know, military agencies and operations into the southeast and, you know, using brutal force against the people. This is a clear sense of hatred on the people and it is really, really uncalled for. This level of hatred is really, really uncalled for and should not be in any way be 
express. Even if you hate a particular people, you should be able to hide your hatred when you're occupying such level of position. It is sad and unfortunate that um, this is this tweet for me, I think, is much more beyond just a mere tweet, but an expression of hatred, bigotry for the people of the Southeast. And if the Southeastern people actually knows what is good for them, it is now that they should continue to hit on the president because of this. This is a viable tool in their hands and justifiable one for that matter for them to stand against this particular president. This is part of the things that Namde Kano, their own son, has been saying and telling them all along, but they refuse to listen. The Southeast governors are seen as, you know, um, the caliphate stooges. And despite all this, none of the Southeast governors has probably come out to condemn such uh, tweets and actions. But rather, they kept mute and they are just looking, telling you that their silence is to a very large extent in accordance to what the president has said. And if the president eventually begins that to uh, express his hatred and, you know, launch another military operation, the same Southeast governors would not say anything. They would keep quiet. Little wonder Hope Uzadema was able to, or had the effrontery to go and seek for military and uh, fighter jets on his own people. What an error. And that had begun, that was, it was after that that we began to experience the unknown gunmen activities in the Southeast. What does it tell you? To a very large extent, it tells you that the man does not know what he is doing and he is working against the people. And once the federal government has gotten the state governors to, you know, be against their people, then you see it is easy for the federal government to attack. And that is what we are witnessing today. Probably they've been bought out or they have been blackmailed to keep quiet and keep silent on issues that borders on protecting their own people. That is probably what it is looking like. But I stand to be corrected if I'm wrong. Be that as it were, we keep our fingers crossed to see how things unfold on this particular news story, as it were. What are your thoughts concerning this particular news story, guys? Well, drop by at the comment section, let us know what your thoughts are on this particular news story as it is. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are yet to subscribe. Kindly hit the bell icon so you can get notification whenever we post news stories. Endeavor to share these news stories with your friends, family, relations, and loved ones so they can get to know what is happening around the world and be informed. Thank you so much, guys. I appreciate your support, and I'll see you on the other news. Thank you, and bye for now.